Welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In today's video, we'll be covering the unstructured block solve panel. I'm going to go ahead and select my unstructured block and go grid solve to open the panel. At the top in the table, you can see the block name as well as its status and the number of cells and types of cells within that block, as well as the full and max layers that T-Rex has created in that block. In the point summary table, as T-Rex is advancing, you'll get an indication as to the number of stopped points, non-combinable points, as well as seated points on a per layer basis. The initialize button is what's going to populate your block. So if you click that, it'll empty an existing block and then recreate it. The refine button in the presence of any sources or refined isotropic solver attributes will go ahead and prompt a refine pass and not recreate the block from scratch. And we'll demo that in just a moment. Release, as the same suggests, will release points from memory and empty the block. You can see that our block is now empty. If I click initialize and then click stop, that will stop the initialization and empty the block. In the T-Rex frame, I'll go ahead and turn off the view of the domain so you can see. You can see there's a display style attribute and if I click initialize, you can see the display style of that front. If I click pause in the T-Rex frame, you can see that the front has stopped, it is paused. I have the option to either resume it or I can just accept the number of layers that have been created and then create isotropic cells on the interior by just clicking that button. In the function frame, I can choose an examine metric to look at. In this case, I'll choose cell type and click examine to be taken directly into the examine panel where I can take cuts through the mesh to see the quality. If I click close, it'll take me right back into the solve panel. Now, the refine button, like I mentioned before, in the presence of sources or refined attributes will prompt a refinement pass. Well, I happen to have a source on the interior that will provide some additional refinement. So I'll go ahead and activate that and click refine. And instead of starting the block from scratch or recreating it from scratch, it'll just prompt that refinement pass. And if I click the examine button, you can see that source has prompted some refinement to take place on the interior of that block. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.